is, uh, here is the general rule, and then we'll get more specific. As you increase the forces, and this is intermolecular uh, forces, you'll increase the boiling point, you'll increase the viscosity, you'll increase the surface tension, and you'll decrease the vapor pressure. You can go through and figure out why all those are true. I won't go through the specifics right now. But I will talk about the forces and then we'll do an example. Okay, so the forces you want to watch out for, the H-bond. Uh, and I'm going to put these in order of strength. The dipole and just general like London forces, dispersion forces. This happens, top one happens when you have a uh, hydrogen next to a nitrogen, an oxygen, or a fluorine. Uh, the dipole, this is when something is, actually all these are dipoles really, but this one is when there's some, a molecule is asymmetric, it'll have a dipole, or you could think, in another way to think about it, if there's a, some difference in electronegativity. And then London, everything has London. Most often, uh, so bigger, the bigger the molecule, the more London forces it has. Most often talk about this with organic molecules, but sometimes other molecules. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. Okay, so let's try an example so you see how, this, how all this stuff works. You could be given a general problem relating to the, what's on the upper right-hand corner here. So, for example, you have... Uh, HCl uh, versus uh, Cl2, and I want to know which one has the higher intermolecular forces. Well, you would look and you would say, well, this one here, there's a difference in electronegativity. It's asymmetric. This is a dipole. It's not a hydrogen bond because you need a hydrogen plus a nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine. And that's none of those. So it's a dipole. This one here, it's not an H-bond, not a dipole, so just by default, everything has London. And because this is not very big, the one with the higher intermolecular forces would be this one. Higher forces. What that means, if you follow the table, if I asked you which one has the higher boiling point, then you'd go with the one. Just for one higher boiling point is the one with the higher force. So this one has the higher boiling point. Cl2, the only thing that it has that's higher, because it has the lower force, it'll have the higher vapor pressure. Kind of like that, and you can use the table accordingly. The HCl will also have a higher viscosity and a higher surface tension. Okay? So those are forces. Sometimes you'll need to identify if a force exists or which one has the stronger forces, or sometimes I'll give you two molecules, which one has a higher, say, viscosity or, or boiling point, whatever. Okay, any questions about that?